Warning, this content is not for kids to watch. Please be advised while watching this video before continuing the show and making sure this has zero no copyright music. Expect some incoming form change scenes. Thank you. So, you really know something about this queen that you mentioned. Can you explain it? If you want something good out of it, you better release me after this. That won't happen on my watch. Of course not. Niles, I need you to tell me more about this queen. We need to figure this out, one way or the other. Fine, I'll tell you more about it. This is all you're gonna get from me. The story goes like this. Centuries ago, there used to be a planet living and roaming on the surface. 
It was a peaceful world with no war, nothing but creatures, living peace with Mother Nature. One day, the leaders were discussing about their people dying without their greatest power. His wife tells him to stop to find their unlimited power to cease the greater cause. Her husband didn't listen and ignored her orders. She stepped away from him. They have decided to destroy what's ever left on a planet to find their answer. True power. Immortal. Their first ever war became their people's destruction, and his wife left the planet along with the people inside the ship. He promised himself to destroy of what's ever left from many planets inside the solar system, and planned to use it against them. After the great destruction, he and his people destroyed their planet with great sheer of force. A few people lived, and their leader as well. His power became the heart of darkness itself. He used his power to bring the last of his men back together, and their resonant personality changed themselves until the end of time. They called themselves the Metrix. <laughs> if you think I'm lying, you should talk one of your friends. Where are they now? All I know is that the great hero stopped them to destroy the entire solar system with one blast, and all the hearts of the planets returned to their rightful place. But something has changed after the Metrix was destroyed. On my homeworld, with the other tales, battling for our fates, our world began to shift. We stopped our battle and watched our world swallow up inside the vortex. After we got swallowed up, I don't remember anything after, except I was in a new world. But it seems everyone didn't get hurt without any hazardous damage. As I regained consciousness, my head started to hurt. I remember there was a land between the vortex. Or some sort of distant ruined plain. There was someone who was on that land. I'm not too sure. So you're saying what might have caused this? Was someone meshing up our world, colliding into this world? Why would anyone do that? Who knows? Someone might be planning something next before it happens again. My expectations are. Limited. That's all I can explain for our interrogation. If that's really all you're gonna say, then we're finished here. So, can I? No. You're gonna stay here with us. Either you're gonna like it or not. Hey, what are you? I'm reverting you back, just so you won't escape. You stay in your cell. We'll talk more about setting you free later. For now, you stay with us. Great. Now I'm stuck here. I don't have anything to get out. Just this stupid gem in my hand prevent me to change back to normal. Hmm. Let's see what's around me. I'm in a double cage cell. A button for room service on the wall. A bed. Sink. Ah! This room is boring. I need to come up with a better plan. <laughs> What can I do? If I can't use my powers to set myself free, maybe this Vion gem will set me free.
So you really don't know. Tails. You didn't tell me about what kind of legend we talked about. Now he really is in trouble. We gotta find him now. What was that? Prisoner have been reached through both gates. The prisoner has been reached. Niles is gonna escape! Oh no he won't! <laughs> I knew it! Accepting the gem's power was really worth it. That fox haven't thought of this one. Niles! No way! How did you break free? Easy lady. You forgot the safe locket. Uh, of course I did. Looks like I'm gonna take you down myself. Hey! Telesco, don't! Sleep. No! Darn it! Telesco! Hey! Where do you think you're going? <laughs> back to the base. What else? You ain't gonna be going anywhere! Give her back! <laughs> I'll pass. I'm gonna take her with me. If you don't put her down, I'll put you down instead! Ha! I'll stop you right here! Then try and stop me! Ah! <laughs> Sorry, kid. I have things to do. What are you doing? Why can't I move? I'm giving it back what's yours. W what? You have been fooled is what I'm trying to say, Tails. You should have let your guard out back first. Let's see if we can experience this new form. Whoa! Oh no. No! Not that! <laughs> you can have this gem. I don't need it anymore. I'm just gonna take what you have. Ooh. The Bonko gem. <laughs> Perfect! You're too kind, stupid fox. That's all I need. Wait, Niles! You don't know what you're getting into! You think like I care? I bought you a jail cell, gave the information you needed, and now you're pleading me to stop? Ha! I've only said I want to get out. Now the only thing I need is to find is the sacred island. You knew it before us, didn't you? Of course! I want to get it all by myself without spoiling it. After all, I don't need Eggman or Darktails to interrupt me. I'm gonna take my leave now. Good luck trying to catch up. Uh... That... I mean... Miles! What's going on down there? Niles escaped. He already knows where to find the island without us knowing. He took my Bunko gem away from me. He also took Telsco with him. What? Then we have no choice but to head over to the island now. Wait. What about the other tails? He's already gone ahead to the island. I don't know if he's already there since he has the compass. No, I meant dark tails. <laughs> People don't understand what it's like to suffer under the circumstances to survive. Greed, kill, hate, doubt, depression, pain, revenge, vengeance, fear, and many worse to come. Now, none of it matters to me. It only makes me sick to everyone who does the same. 
but I'm gonna change it all how they see of what I see. The Doc will only regret many things he doesn't know after they're revived. How their so-called pets betray their owners. I, Dark Tales, will bring destruction of chaos, bend their will, never let them all to see the sun of day. I will be the cure. I will break the salvation. Once I collect all the power gems and the chaos emeralds, nothing could stop me. <laughs> <laughs> Those fools weren't able to save you, but instead you go ahead to fight me first. Of course, I understand that you keep looking at me with that smug face for at least 30 minutes. Oh, come on. I bring you with me for one journey for heading over to this hidden land, using you as my shield. If those fools ever try to catch up with me. Come on, my darling. It wouldn't hurt to speak with me. Oh! Wh Why did you- Hmm. Look here, Buster. I'm not gonna help you if you're treating me this way like how you treat some women you meet in your own time. You think that becoming a legend is the only way to treat yourself to be like one? I- No, you listen to me. My goal is to help my friends and support them as I learn from new ones. But you are one pathetic idiot who kidnapped me for using me as bait, half destroyed my new home, and becoming some kind of a fearless legendary demon who can't comprehend himself? Well, I... Look at you! You're a demon fox who likes to be better than anyone that others will think of you as a worthless piece of trash! Who can't kill a friend that who is from another world? Let me be clear with you. I won't work with you. <laughs> okay. Now what am I gonna say? I... I, I never, never had this kind of conversation problem before. But, but I, I think, think I should settle down. Maybe I should... Well, what are we waiting for? Do you want me to roll out the carpet for you? What? I... <sighs> okay, fine. We're going. You really don't get a lot of love, do you? No. But if I want to make you feel better... I wasn't caring in the first place, until I stopped caring and started doing whatever I want. Over time I was changing, and after that I began stealing weapons, robbing money, murder spree, all that. Still, I gotta say, you got guts to go up against me. <laughs> I can still try to fight you anytime, at this time, not right now. There is more of a threat that we have on the island, but do not go for my friend. Only this once. <laughs> Fine. I used to get an order around, but I'll let this go. A threat of a hidden land sounds more promising to me. Man, I haven't used this plane for a while. Took me some time to get this baby going. Hopefully I can get there without anyone chasing me from behind. Now let's see. 
Okami did gave me the location where this island is. Surely this will be a breeze. <laughs> huh? My comms are... <laughs> what the? Who is this? Must. Back. What? Turn back? I can't. I have a challenge to do. Now who is this? I don't think that was a radio pickup. Something's not right here. I'm starting to have this feeling that this isn't a challenge at all. Anyway, I can see the island in my sights. I better go check this out and I have to be careful. It's all or nothing. This island should hold something for this merge world problem. After this, I definitely need to talk to Okami about this challenge. I didn't know she had this thing for me. Well, that doesn't matter. Lan Ho! Begin Phase 3. This project is complete. Now, I will give you a name. I remember. Cosmo have only seen you only a few times. It's been too long since she ever saw you. Never knew what it was. This day forward, your name will be Zor.